Sweet. All right. Today, I'm gonna cover some very deep stuff. And um, I've covered this topic a few times, but today I'm gonna cover the same topic again. I'm gonna get deep inside the topic. I'm gonna go like in the cracks and crannies. Cause sometimes I'll cover a topic, but I don't really go into cracks. Like I'm talking about the cracks, the cracks, the cracks. All right. So, um, in the life cycle, girls mature faster than guys. Like when we're children. You know, niggas be on some other shit and girls mature faster than guys. And that is true. It is true that girls do mature faster than guys. So it's an evolutional race of like this, right? So we little, niggas on whatever shit, marbles, paws, girls be on like marriage and all type of shit. You feel me? Girls be ready to settle down. Girls be ready to settle down at like 12. 13, they like, man, I want to get married. Girls know what they want at that age. Like, you know, I want to get married. I want to have a baby. I want to have a family. And I want to have a white picket fence. And this is most niggas' lies, right? Niggas' lies is, nigga, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with shit. I don't know the other shit. Uh, you know, 17, 18, shit, uh, shit, I got bitches. Shit, 19, 20, shit. Nigga, I got bitches, but I got one main bitch. You feel me? I got a bunch of side bitches. Nigga, 25, nigga, it's shit, damn. I lost my main bitch, fuck with the side bitches. I, uh, oh, man, fuck the bitch, man. I got to get the bag. Then, you feel me, about 20, 29, 30, nigga, like, oh, I got to get a bag bag. Like, I got to get an ultimate bag. Like, like nah, I got to take care of, oh, I need to, wait, right? So, when niggas get about 35, let me tell you something. When niggas get about 35, Niggas start thinking about the generation. And I notice most girls don't. Now, this is actual facts. Most girls don't think generational. This is actual facts based on what I know. My facts are based on what I have seen. It's not based upon all girls in the whole world. It's based upon my, this, me. So based upon the girls that I know, they don't think generational. They don't think, I got to set something up for the kids, 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 kids. These, these are based off the girls that I know. These are not based off of y'all. These are not based off of anybody else in the world. This is based off the girls that I know, right? So niggas, right? In niggas' minds, niggas be like, I got to get a bag. Girl, most girls' minds is, I'm an RN, I got a nice apartment, I could take care of my kids, I could put a roof over their head, and I could send them to the best schools. That's most girls' mind, right? When most girls that I know got that, their life is complete, right? You notice how I said RN, right? I'm an RN. Because the majority of girls, that's the ultimate goal. Like, how niggas want to be rappers. How niggas want to be rappers. And niggas want to be basketball players and all that. Just girls just want to be an RN. Like, that's it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm keeping it real. Like, niggas want to be rappers. Niggas want to be basketball players. Niggas want to play football. All Niggas have all types of things. Girls be like, bitch, when I grow up, I'm going to be an RN. That's it. But no, right? So like most girls when they get a house, right, listen, listen, let's just hear me out. Over the evolutional time span, society has tricked girls that they can't do shit. Right? We're talking about look, it's an evolutional society agenda that is pressed up inside the girls female minds that make them think that they can't be super creative. This is Listen, most girls don't even think how powerful they are and how super creative that they can be. They don't even... Most girls use maybe 10% of their ability to survive in life. Girls are actually way crazier than girls when it comes to drawing, when it comes to all type of shit. You feel me? Like business. All girls are wild when it comes to this shit. Like, right? 
but they don't really use their mind based upon like I right, put it like this let me make an example I'm gonna make an example ladies if you think your man is cheating you gonna find out listen to me <laughs> ladies this is what I'm, I'm gonna put it into a uh, scenario ladies if you think your man is cheating you gonna find out and you gonna do everything you possibly can to find out you gonna do everything you can to find out you gonna hack phones you gonna go through emails social security codes you gonna go through all type of shit you gonna find out What I'm saying is, girls don't use that same type of energy to better themselves. This is what I'm saying. Girls don't use that same energy to better themselves. You get what I'm saying? If a girl could find out if a nigga cheating or not, you should be able to find out how to get the bag. This is actual facts. If you could go through phones, passwords, emails, net codes, and sit up all night searching through Facebook pages and all type of shit, you should find out how to get the bag. But what I'm saying is girls are extremely talented, it's just their focus is wrong. So going back to what I was saying, most girls don't really think generational, right? Most women don't really think generational. They think, okay, and I'm just basing it off the girls in my family. I'm basing it off how people perceive stuff in my family, right? I'm basing it off the girls that all the girls that I've been with in my life, all the girls that I've ever noticed in my life, they never really thought about future. Most of them were just living off a scenario that they were in, but they never really thought about future, right? They never really think about generational, right? Most girls, not all. But most girls never really think about generational. The average girl goes, if I get a job, if I get a nice paying job at $20 an hour, $20 to $30 an hour, then my children are going to be okay. I'm going to have a nice house that's not in the hood. I'm going to send them to a very good school. And that's it. That's the end. That is the end for majority of the women I know. That's the end goal. That's it. I make a nice amount of money. I go to work 10 hours a day. My child goes to the best school. He got the best babysitter. And either I'm in a relationship or if I'm not in a relationship, then I got a side nigga that might give me 200, 300 every few weeks. That's it. That's the end goal. That's it. Niggas, especially niggas, like me and most other niggas that's in our world, niggas be like, yo, my great grandchildren gotta be okay. What the fuck am I gonna do to make sure my great, great, great grandchildren don't gotta work? That's the type of shit be going through my mind. I be like, yo, $30 an hour ain't enough. My kid even going to school is wrong. I don't even want my kid to go to school. He should be in flight class. He should be learning how to play. How the fuck I get an air? How the? Where do I buy airplane gas from? I never seen an airplane gas station. Wait, how do? Oh, yo, niggas start panicking. Niggas be panicking on us. Y'all don't really understand. Niggas be panicking out here. Ladies, y'all got to cut a nigga some slack. Nigga really be panicking, bro. Nigga brains start calcul... Bro, niggas brains be calculating reality. Bro, you don't understand. Niggas be like, all right. All right, I got a car. All right, I got a good job. All right. He got a Bentley. Damn, that's a Bentley. Wait.
Wait, his son got a Bentley? Wait, they got a Bentley tricycle? Wait, his stroller for... Oh, oh, how I get that? Man, the way niggas... My, bro. The way niggas' minds be working... Niggas be like, my nigga, I got to get the bag. Oh! Girl, I don't never, like, look, girls are comfortable. They're comfortable with the smaller things in life. Men, we settle with the smaller things in life. We go, you know what? All right, this is all I can do for right now, but I'm trying to do something else. Yo, ladies. I'm going to tell y'all this. I'm going to tell you some real shit. When you see niggas out here trying to get it. Because like I said, look, be honest. How many niggas out here is actually trying to be rappers? And how many girls is trying to be something other than the RN? No, no niggas is really out here trying to be rappers so they can get money. Niggas is really... Yo... In the 90s, how many kids you seen dribbling basketballs up the street? How many basketball courts you seen in the front of people yard? No, listen, we're talking about in the 90s. How many kids was popping willies? How many kids are doing backflips off the roof? How many kids was on the diving board? How many kids was, niggas was trying, we was trying to figure this shit out at a young age. Girls was in the house playing with Barbie dolls. That just let me know y'all are just gonna be regular from the jump. Girls is in the house playing with the baby dog, man. I'm gonna have me a baby. And yeah, shit, nigga, like I'm gonna be in the house. Niggas was trying to figure out some shit from a child. No. All of that shit we did when we was younger, that was us trying to figure out how we gonna get the bag when we get older. Niggas was like, nigga, I'm gonna be a gymnastic. Nigga, shit, I'm gonna be a basketball player. I will be a football player. I will be something. Niggas is trying to figure it. Listen to me, bro. Niggas is trying to figure it out at a young age. Girls wasn't. My nigga, let's just think about all the shit we was outside doing. We was outside playing pogs. You gotta be from a certain era to know about pogs. We was outside playing marbles. We was outside playing with action figures. We was outside playing with the Tatanka trucks. Remember the Tonka trucks? We used to dump the dirt and all that. We was outside being construction workers. We was outside, my nigga, we was outside playing football, tackle football on the concrete. We was outside playing tackle football on the concrete. We was outside playing motherfucking Nigga, baseball with hardball with no glove. We playing hard baseball with no glove, hardball. We was outside doing it. Oh, my nigga, we was trying to get somewhere. On a set. But nigga, men was trying to get somewhere from the jump. So what I try to do is I try to go back to my childhood and I try to go, no, 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 fellas, listen to me. Go back to your childhood of all your childhood moments with the bros. Where the fuck was the girls? I think I went at least about a good 10 to 15 years of my life where I didn't even see a woman other than mom and my sisters. Where the fuck was the fucking girls? What the fuck? was y'all doing when we was outside playing high go seek and learning all of these abilities no 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 like i really really want to know man like it was about a good 10 to 15 year time span where i don't know what girls was doing no 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 i i need to know like i need a i need a legitimate answer what was y'all doing all of that time? They was inside the house doing what? What y'all was watching? Uh, motherfucking the stories with mom? What the fuck was y'all doing? 
No, what was y'all talking about in the house? I'm really, bitch, this is a 15 year span. Y'all couldn't have had a 15 year conversation. What was y'all talking about? Man, when we went in the house, we went in the house and watched shit that made us feel special. Bitch, I go right in the house and cut Dragon Ball Z on. I just came from outside. Talk about, nigga, you can't beat me. I went in the house talking about, ah, ah, ah. nigga, I couldn't wait to go back outside. Bitch, I was powered up when I went in the house. Fuck you talking about. What was y'all doing? When I got back in the house, bitch, I'm watching Power Rangers. What, 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 Y'all ain't from that era. We used to make our fake nunchucks out of shoestrings and sticks. Back. Oh, shit. Oh. My nigga, what the fuck was y'all doing? No, li li listen. Hear me out, man. Really, really hear me out. What the fuck? was y'all doing the whole fellas i want you to go back to when you was a child and think about all the things you did remember marbles remember was playing marbles man oh god i'm still mad at keefy said keefy might have to run my fade now that i'm thinking about this and keefy go hey they like i go man what up you say man better nigga could hit your marble from way over here bet your whole pack and I'm like, man, you ain't about to hit my marble from way over there. Remind you, he was way across the street over there. He said, bet I can hit it from over here. If I hit it, you'll give me your whole thing. I said, yeah. And if you miss, you get nigga, you gotta give me your whole thing. Man, Keefy did this. You know a nigga knew how to play marbles when a nigga did that. Man, he smacked my shit from way across the street. Smam! My nigga, I felt like I lost my whole life collection. I get, I think that's how it feel when you go bankrupt. That's why nigga commit suicide when they go bankrupt on the set. I was on the edge of life. I I thought my whole my whole life savings was gone. You don't know how many marbles I had in my pack. I had all type of pearls and all type of cat eyes and all type of exclusive marbles. Oh, that said, I feel like my whole life savings was gone. Oh! Oh! I was in the street sick. I'm pounding on the ground. Lord, why me? <laughs> Keep me talking about depressed looking ass nigga ah! you know when you in the hood homies don't give a flying fuck what you going through they gonna shoot plenty of jokes he talking about ah! right I'm in the street just sad what happened keep he talking about ah! right <laughs> but no we was playing marbles. I'm trying to think what was y'all doing when we was playing marbles? What the fuck was girls doing? I think I played marbles for a good two years straight. I'd never seen a single female. No, no, hear me out. <laughs> I played marbles for at least two years straight. I'd never seen a... Every era, we had marbles. I didn't see girls. We had pogs. I didn't see girls. We had yo-yos. I didn't see girls. When the the Razor scooters first came out, I never seen girls in the Razor scooters. Girls, there was only one skateboarder. What was her name? The girl from Tony Hawk at the time. Girls on skateboard. Girl was playing basketball. What the fuck was y'all doing? No, look, fellas, go back into every era. 
I don't remember girls being involved in nothing we were doing other than ding dong other no other than high go get it for some odd reason when we played high go get it the bitch was everywhere you remember that who wanna play high go get it and the bitch come out I don't really wanna play bitch how, where did you come from I, I don't really wanna yo you say we're playing high go get it bitches start coming from under the cracks <sighs> I don't want, and then the bitch get out and say she don't want to play. Bitch, we was out, we been out here for four weeks straight playing marbles. I don't even, I didn't even know you lived over here. Where you moved from? We didn't even know you lived over here. Who are you? Bitch come out of nowhere talking about, I don't want to play. But I play if y'all need one more person. Bitch squeezed out the cracks ready to get hit that's what y'all just y'all bitches are just waiting to get hit huh that's what girls be talking about when they be by themselves huh girl i'm still a virgin girl you still a virgin girl this how it's gonna be when you first try it you know you should wait you should wait till you get married you should wait till you find the right husband girl like what the fuck do y'all be talking about like no 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 <laughs> for real like when y'all be in groups, what the fuck y'all... Because I noticed, look, let me tell you something. I noticed every girl got a pack of homegirls and they all broke. <laughs> Do you ever notice that? You ever notice, like, there's always packs of broke bitches that always got something to say? Bitches like, broke. Yeah, bitch. Um, you ever notice? Bitch, that nigga ain't shit. Bitch, you make five dollars an hour. Who you? How do you? You should leave that nigga. He ain't shit. Bitch, you make seven fifty an hour. How do you have the audacity to say anybody ain't shit? Yo. So I noticed a valuable thing, right? Over the past ten years, every time I look over the past ten years. Every time I go out somewhere and I see a group of girls, they're literally always talking about nigga problems. Now listen, I'm, I'm keeping it real. Every time there's a group of girls that I could be out in the public at the beach, you see about five or six girls together, they always talking about, yeah, girl, and he. If you just listen to ambient conversation, it's always about some nigga. Girls meet up. And talk about niggas. Do you know men never do that? Like girls will be like, all right, bitches, we meeting Friday on 3 p.m. And we're finna talk about Keisha's relationship. Do you know men never do that? Ever? Homies be together, you don't even know he in a situation. He won't even say nothing. Nigga meet up like, hey, nigga, shit. Nigga, hey, my nigga, you got half on the brick? My nigga, I put in 20, my nigga. Hey, shit, nigga, we, nigga, you trying to jug some shell phones? My nigga, my man, I got the credit cards, my nigga. We gonna go to jail for this shit. Fuck it. My nigga, that's why so many niggas be in jail. Niggas be in jail because we out here trying to get it. We be out here jugging. Fuck you talking about. We trying to get it by any means. When the homies meet, either we going to be successful or we going to jail for something big. When the homies have a group meeting, Either we going to jail or we about to create something big. It's either or. I ain't never in my life seen a group of niggas meet up to talk about some bitch. Never. That's breaking the man code. Can you imagine a bunch of niggas in the room talking about, yeah, man, you know, you're just, it's just you and your girl. You know, and y'all should get through it. Man, let a homie come in a circle and talk about, 
man, what's wrong with you? Oh, me and my girl, man, you better take that you and your girl shit over there, nigga. We got money to get, nigga. Fuck you talk about shit, shit, nigga, shit. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. Hey, I'm, I lost a 100, cuz. Somebody got my 100. My nigga, check your pockets, cuz. You know, see if you, one of you niggas probably picked them. I know I had a thousand. Let me count this up. One, two, three. And nigga, don't be giving a fuck about your relationship problems when the homie, when the bros meet, we about to up in something. We don't care about none of that other shit. When the homies meet, Steezy, tell them. We have met numerous times. Me, you, Jesse, Rye, whole groups. What we talking about, man? We trying to get some type of bag. I don't give a fuck what a nigga going through in his personal life. That don't matter when the homies meet. I remember one time we was in the group meeting with all the homie. The homie came in there crying. He talking about, we like, man, what's wrong with you? He like, man, my girl gave me AIDS. We like, all right, cool. You got about 10 more years to live to get the bag. So look, my nigga, tuck your AIDS aside. My nigga, we got some money to get, bro. Just make sure you don't cut nobody and touch nobody. But right now, we got money to get. My nigga, all that AIDS shit could come later. That's how we be feeling. My nigga, you got about 15 weeks to hurry up and help us get this money. We don't care about your age. We don't care about your relationship problem. None of that. You got a limited time to help us get the bag. All that shit could come later. That's how niggas be, bro. That's how we, my, my nigga, we don't got time for the other shit. So what I'm saying is, ladies, look, right? <laughs> On some real shit, ladies. I just want to put this in your mind. Listen to me, ladies. Hear me out. I want to put this in your mind. If your homegirls ain't talking about gaining in business, fuck them. Hear me out, ladies. Let me get close. I want y'all to really look in my eyes when I tell you this. And I want this to feel like I'm about to fuck y'all slow like this. Oh, yeah, look at me, bitch. No, look. For real. Ladies, if your homegirls call you with drama, hang up. Listen. If your homegirls call you talking about some wild shit, about some nigga or some what hang up listen to me if your homegirls call you about some female shit hang up you don't got look if you you need to get females that are about business. You need to get homegirls that's trying to grow. You need to get friends that's trying to grow financially. So you and your, you can be in a situation to take care of the next generation. Do you want to be that grandmother that ain't got shit to show? Or do you want to be that grandmother where your kids be like, Auntie Granny got this. My gran Granny, Granny T Tanae got this. 80 foot ranch and we all go to Granny Tanae house on the ranch and she got cows and she got horses and water slides and that's Granny Tanae. Do you want to be that Granny? Look, what I'm saying is this, ladies. You know what I never seen? I never see bitches take picture with money on the side of the ear. Like, why? I would, you know what I would love to see? A group picture of a bunch of bitches with stacks on the side of their ear. I would love to see that. I would love to. I would love to see a group of bitches with money on the side of their ear. I would, that, that would be spectacular. Niggas be like, oh, them bitches getting a bag bag. They lit. Look, you want you talking about sexy? You bitches out here taking naked pictures. Let me tell you something. 
Naked pictures and all that shit is not attractive no more. That shit is for the 90s. I'm from, listen to me, ladies. I'm about to tell y'all some shit that men ain't telling y'all. Naked pictures, that's bullshit. Pictures with your ass showing, that's bullshit. Pictures with half of your booty on the counter, all that's bullshit. Men don't even like that no more. Why you think so many niggas going gay? Because we getting tired of this shit. Why you think niggas be like, oh man, this bitch didn't show me all her goods before I even, man, I'm gay now, fuck it, shit. Niggas is going gay because niggas is, bitch, y'all giving up all the goods before a nigga even could get horny. Sheesh. Niggas scroll down Instagram, damn, I done seen her old ass and what the fuck do I got to look forward to? Look. I'm keeping it real with y'all. All this naked shit got niggas just like, we ain't even, niggas ain't even attracted no more. Do you know a naked bitch is, is, is cringeworthy now? My nigga, in 2019, a naked girl is cringeworthy. It, it's like, is she naked? Bitch, put some clothes on. All right. Now I'm going to tell you some real shit. You want to know what really turn niggas on? You want to know what really, really turn niggas on? Pajamas. Bitch, get in some Tweety Bird pajamas. You know, the silky ones that you can see the ass through. Get in some Tweety Bird pajamas. Motherfucking head scarf. And a motherfucking spaghetti strap shirt with no bra under so a nigga can see the titties through the spaghetti strap. Oh God, you want to turn a nigga on? That right there going to have a nigga. Dummy horny. I'm just keep... If you really want... If you really want to impress niggas on the gram, you need to become the pajama girl. That right there... You ever see a girl in the, in the grocery market at like 7 a.m. in the morning? She got the little Looney Tune pajamas on, the spaghetti strap... You feel me? You like, damn. She talking about, I ain't even dressed like that. What, what make me cute, bitch? You don't have no idea what I'm thinking right now. You, 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 you can't even fathom what I'm thinking right now. Right? But want me to tell you, want me to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to bring you inside the mind of a man. When the man see you all dolled up and half naked, we automatically look at you like a one night stand. Listen, I'm going to put you in the mind of a man. When we see you dolled up and your ass showing and, and you got on the thong and you popping ass online, we automatically look at you like, man, I'm going to fuck her, pass her to the homies. That's what a nigga automatically think, right? When a nigga see you in pajamas, a nigga be like, I could wake up next to that for a long time. That's something that I could wake up next to. Like, if I wake up in the morning and you look like that next to me every morning, that's something that I want to marry. That's what niggas be thinking. So when y'all be like, I ain't even dressed. I'm just in my pajamas. You don't understand. That's perfect. If I'm feeling you like this, if I'm feeling you like this, the love is real. So what I'm saying is, fellas, imagine you seeing the bitch in the pajamas with the money on top of her ear. Oh my God, that bitch a dime. You see the bitch in the pajamas with the stack on side of her ear. Oh my God. Look at this bitch. This bitch look good on her regular and she dummy rich. This a rich hood, bitch. Hey, what's your name? You feel me? Nigga, I have to press you ASAP. Hey, hey, what's good? Hey, what's up with you? What you doing in the market this early? Yeah, you about to go cook? You got kids? How many? Because let me tell you something. When you get to 35 and up, I mean, you know, 30, nigga don't want no bitch with no kids. I'm just, I just keep it real with you. I don't want no bitch with no kids. You got to have at least one or two. You feel? I'm just keeping it real with you. That that young, that 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 no baby shit. You got kids? Oh, I can't. That shit for little niggas. That's sick. You what, man? You get up there in age, really? Man, you got kids? How many? Two? How old are they? 
Do you feel me? If you just had one like recently, you still got titty milk. So I'm trying to, you feel me, get a little juice. He he two? He one? Yeah. All right. You breastfeed still? I was just asking you. Man, well, you know me. I'm just joking. You do? All right. Um. I mean, I'm just saying like, you know, I don't know your situation with your baby father. I don't know if y'all together or not, but I mean, I, evidently, if you giving me this much conversation, I mean, something ain't right. I don't know. I'm not trying. Sorry if I'm offending you. I'm not trying to like lead nothing to know. But if you know, if you ain't talking to nobody, like I get your number possibly. What? What? Boom, she talking about, since, since you was nice, all right, here it is, 555-355-555, boom. So, boom, right, you don't even call her, because you so mesmerized by her, you ain't even going to call her the first night, you got to wait to call her, you can call her next week, boom, you hit her up next week, hey, what's up, what's up, it's, uh, it's Terrence, remember Terrence, you, you met at the store? Yeah, just calling in, see how you was doing, hope your day going good, you heard the babies in the background. Oh, mama, I'm hungry. She talking about, I got money on the counter. Y'all better go buy something to eat. How much money, mama? Six million. Just go. You talking about, oh, she rich. So you like, man, what you do for a living? She talking about, I'm a technical engineer. Wait, what? Oh, my nigga, you going to be in heaven. Bitch says she, you ask a bitch what she do for a living, she talking about she a technical engineer. You ain't never heard them type of words in your life. You talking about technician, technician and in the mirror. You technically in the mirror, what you say? You, you never heard a bitch say she a technical, <laughs> technical engineer. You talking about technically in the mirror, what you say? She talking about I'm a technical engineer. You know, I, I work at NASA. Wait, what? All right, I'm going to call you back. Now, this, now let me tell you something. This the only time when the homies call the other homies about a bitch. Let me tell you. <laughs> this is an exception. This the only exception when the homies call the other homies about a bitch. Nigga talking about, hey, cuz. Hey, nigga, why you calling me at 3 a.m. in the morning? Nigga, I ain't your bitch. Nigga, you gonna want to hear this shit, my nigga. He talking about what you talking about. He talking about, cuz, pull up, my nigga. That's the only time. He, my nigga, what you mean, cuz? I can't even tell you over the phone on the set, pull up, my nigga. It's serious. Nigga pull up, talk about, man, damn, nigga, you got me out my bed, nigga, at 3 a.m. in the morning, nigga. Nigga, you don't even got a bed, nigga. You on the floor at Granny House, nigga. Stop lying. But still, nigga, I had to come way over here, nigga. So anywho, nigga, what's up? Nigga talking about, nigga. 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 Now, when the nigga say that three times, you already know. You like, yeah. Nigga. You talking about, yeah, for real? Nigga. Nigga. You talking, my nigga. Now look, y'all gonna have a whole conversation before any words actually come out. It's gonna be a full conversation. He talking about, nigga. That's the homie. Yeah, for real? You bullshit, my nigga. I ain't not. Nah, nope. You bullshit. My nigga. You think I'm gonna call you over here at 3 a.m. in the morning, my nigga? Nigga. <laughs> nigga talk about. Oh. Nigga. I bust a bad one, nigga. My mama, nigga. He talking about nigga, how she look, nigga. Nigga, nigga, 
She had on the Tweety Bird pajamas, nigga. The Tweeties, my nigga. We ain't seen them since elementary, my nigga. My nigga, on the dead homie, she had on the Tweety Bird pajamas, my nigga. She had on the scarf, my nigga. Her hair was kind of curled up a little bit under the scarf. I ain't know if it was a weave or not, but I ain't even care, my nigga. Look, but that ain't even it, my nigga. He talking about, that ain't it? She had more? My nigga, look, bro. My nigga, the bitch was technically in the mirror. He's, now you gotta think. We know the technically in the mirror. He said she was technically in the mirror. She got money, huh? I said, yep, I told you, nigga. My mama. He said, technically in the mirror? Oh, she working one of them things, huh? I said, yeah. He said she like a NASA type of thing, huh? On my mama, bro. He said she got the bag, huh? I said, bro. Bro, my nigga, she gave me her number, bro. She technically in the mirror at NASA, my nigga. And then she mines, my nigga. Mines, not yours. Mine, get out. No, no, my mama, I know you, nigga. You a creeper, man. Nigga, get out. Nope. He talking about what's her, and what's her Instagram? Nah, I ain't telling you nothing. You a creeper, nigga. I ain't, you ain't... Homies are sliding them DMs. Hey, you can't never trust the homies. That's why homies don't tell other homies about their thing. They'll tell them. They'll hurry up and try to get out of it. Mm, nigga. Because you start seeing the homies days off. When you talking to the homie and he start dazing off a little bit, you got to pull out the conversation. Oh, no. Homie talking about, yeah. Yeah. She got an Instagram? Yeah. She got all that, all that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my mom, I gotta meet her. That's it. You, you talking about, man? Hey, get out, man. You thinking about this too hard. What you got in mind? You trying to do something. Now your homie, all that fool for less, waiting for the bitch. He there every morning in the parking lot. How you know? Because you there, too. You on the other side of the parking lot. Man, look at this nigga trying to wait to see if he could catch her. You dirty ass nigga. You a dog. My mommy here. He really trying to bust my bitch. He a dog. You really here at the grocery store. You don't even got no money. You just at the grocery store, the parking lot, waiting every morning. You smoking the same roach. It ain't even lit. You just look like you, you a dog. My mama. But no. That's the only time. Look, that's the only time a nigga will call. That's the only time a nigga will call the homies in a, a girl emergency. Listen to me, bro. That's the only time the homies will call another homies to talk about a female as if he feel he won. That's it. The, the homies, we ain't calling unless we feel we hit the jackpot. Fellas, am I right? Fellas, am I right? We ain't, man, we ain't talk about no relationship problems unless we hit the, man, said I got a bad one. She bad. But no, right? So going back on a positive note, right? Now that I got all y'all pheromones open and all y'all motherfucking, uh, uh, all y'all motherfucking dopamines open and shit, let me drop in this information. Ladies, you got to start creating packs of business women. There's a lot of men out here that's trying to get it. And I think ladies got to start doing this too. You got to start creating packs of business women, right? And... The world is the world is kind of easier for women because there's a lot of things that's given to women that isn't given to to men, right? Yeah, that's like a squirrel. I ain't seen this black squirrel in a long time. A lot of things is given to men, like certain jobs, certain office jobs, certain things are given to women. Um, you know, girls be getting section eights and all type of shits better than faster than men. You know, it's a lot of shit. You get child support, all that type of shit. So this is a plan. This is a plan for a lot of bitches who ain't doing nothing but got child support. Look, 
Instead of getting on your home, on your phone with your homegirls and talking about all type of bullshit, all y'all bitches need to put y'all child support checks together and buy some. No, this might seem like a joke, but no, man, fuck all the extra shit, man. Fuck the TVs and the new couches and all the new shit. Man, put y'all child support checks together and buy some. If it ain't even a child support check, just put your EB, whatever. Put it together and buy some. Bro, look. On the set. I'm going to give niggas a plan too. Look, I'm about to give niggas a plan and I'm about to give females a plan. Ladies, y'all can put y'all money together and buy some, bro. You could buy an ice cream truck. You could buy a clothing store. You could buy a motherfucking makeup stand. You could buy one of those little things in the mall where you say to sell some products. You can go downtown, get all the products for cheap. On oh God, if you know somebody in California, tell them to go downtown, get the plug for you, and mail it to you, get you a little thing in the store. On oh God, like females got to come together and start talking about business instead of talking about dumbass nigga problems. Listen to me. Females got to start coming together talking about business. It's a group of eight to nine, ten, seven females. There's no way in, no way in hell y'all should just be continuously talking about niggas. Y'all should be talking about like actual business, right? Like, like for real shit. Like females, y'all got to come together and start talking about business. If your girlfriend or your homegirl is calling you with drama, hang up on that bitch. I'm going to say this again. If she calling you with drama hang up on it because drama is contagious and when you have drama and you listening to all that shit drama gonna phase off into your relationship this is how the shit works bro that shit contagious it's gonna phase off into your relationship and you gonna start thinking about shit about your dude and then you gonna be starting problems that ain't even real problems because your homegirl that infiltrated your mind and got you feeling some type of way so look if it ain't about business hang the fuck up fuck them Talk to your homegirls that's trying to progress you. Talk to your homegirls that's trying to lift you up. Talk to your homegirls that, hey, bitch, I seen a fucking motherfucking, I seen a makeup shop around the corner, bitch. That shit was empty, bitch. If we put our money together, we could get this shit, bitch. What you think we should do? Man, bitch, if we got a strip on Tuesdays, that nigga on at the, the bunk-ass strip club in the back, bitch, we gonna have to do it. But let's get this money on the low, bitch. My name Taquasha. Bitch, your name Sonera. Bitch, let's go over there and fill out our application, bitch. We we got to do what we got to do to get this. Hey, you got to do what you got to do to get it. But what I'm saying, I don't never knock no bitch. You feel me? I don't never knock nobody. If you got to do what you got to do to get it, go get it. But I like the fact that y'all going to be talking about business. It's, it's a joke. But if you got to do what you got to do to get it, go get it. All I'm saying is go get the business. Make sacrifice by any means. You got to get the bag listen to me so ladies when y'all come together in these groups and 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 all these big old shit where y'all have three-way female meetups and get the bag like fuck going to the club talking about who you gonna find and who you gonna meet and, and fuck all because i know girls go out in packs and they go out in packs looking i know this they go out in packs they get dressed up they go out in packs they go out looking Fuck that, man. Y'all got to go out looking for businesses. i never seen a pack of girls, nigga, walking looking for business. Never. Go out in packs, man, and, and look and, and figure out how y'all can monopolize this world. Like, you got to go from being a bad bitch to a queen. Like, queen sent armies out and fucking... You get what I'm saying? Queen, queen sent armies out and fucking conquer. That's a real version of a queen. Queens conquer shit. So all this queen shit, man, you got to go out this world. You got to conquer this monopoly. If you're going to proclaim and call yourself a queen, you got to conquer this monopoly. Queens conquer shit. So look, ladies, man, if your homegirls ain't talking about nothing uplifting, they ain't talking about nothing that could build you or they ain't talking about nothing that could build y'all as a collective, keep these demons away from you. They demons, bro. These are demons to fuck up your whole mentality on how you walk through this world. Keep them away from you. So bigger than that, fellas, Cause I ain't, I'm not off y'all niggas too, fellas. We gotta start doing shit too. Like, boom. We gotta stop. Hey, you trying to smoke one, man? Fuck all that. Look, my nigga, I'm gonna give fellas a plan. It's a fella plan. One of the biggest things about fellas is we like to floss on each other. Like, fellas always like to floss on each other. We never want to work together. It's like, what I got, what you got, what I got. Nobody never really like to share their assets because in the man group, that's the thing we do. Man, I got this. Nigga, you niggas ain't never got this. Nigga, punk ass. No, fuck y'all. 
That's the thing. We got to stop doing that. Niggas be like, damn, man, we could get a Lambo. Look, you know how easy it is to get a Lambo, bro? You know how easy it is to get an actual Lambo, bro? If 10 niggas put their money together, they could get a Lambo with 10 niggas. If 10 niggas put their money together and save for a year, we get a Lambo. Now, I know what y'all think. How 10 niggas going to share a Lambo? It's easy, nigga. Everybody drive that bitch one day a week. But that's the thing. You don't even got to drive the bitch. Y'all could just put y'all money together, get the shit, and rent it out. Then the car going to pay for itself in a couple of years. Then before you know it, you have enough money to buy another one. And then now y'all got two Lambos. And then if y'all keep renting them out, then y'all got a full Lambo service. Then y'all shooting, using the shit for music video. You know, it's a billion rappers in the world. So you're using the shit for music video all type of photo shoots pictures and all that then you tell your homies because you know you got homies hey fool you want to push the lambo for a date man give me a hundred and now all your homies like man bam then you got the whole hood driving the lambo for the day then bam that's a hundred hundred now you make it 200 a day 200 300 a day look it's simple it's simple all we got to do is start working together, pitching in and putting our money in one pot to obtain something. It's simple, bro. It's simple math. The problem with this world is we trying to beat the game by ourselves. Nobody trying to beat the game together. We ain't going to never win the game long as we try to break this shit by ourselves. I was telling some of my parents this yesterday. Let me tell you why it was hard for all of us. Because everybody tried to win individually. I told my parents this. I told my pops this. We all tried to win. You tried to win the game by yourself. Your brothers tried to win the game by yourself. Do you know how easy it would have been if everybody just would have bought one house? You know how easy that would have been? If 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 my mama and all nine of her brothers and sisters would have put all of their money together to buy a ranch, we would have been lit. We would have had a big old farm with acres and all that. But everybody want to play the game by themselves. Everybody want to try to beat the game by themselves and then talk about each other when other people fail. So that's why I tell y'all, right? I tell y'all, I tell all of y'all, raise y'all children different. Raise y'all children to stick together. Make sure y'all children have different bonds and tell your children don't don't be like your brother this or your brother that or your brother this or brother that make sure you tell your children when y'all grow up y'all living together until the end you know how hard it is for a lion in the jungle when he get put out his pack most lions get put out their pack and don't survive you know that right you know when a lion gets put out the pack it do not survive you know that right it could be the biggest line in the world. You get put out your pack and you ain't surviving. Bro. Family is packs. The word family is a pack, bro. And it is very easy to beat the game if we stick together. And if we stick with like-minded people that are pushing for better, it's very easy to beat the game. You ain't gonna never see no lion catch no prey all by itself. They gonna have the other lions over there. They gonna have the other lions over there. They gonna meet up and they gonna try to do something. You ain't gonna never rarely see an orca, orca killer whale try to catch a seal by itself. They gonna have the other pies over there, the pies over there. They gonna work together and they gonna win. Look, the problem with human society is everybody trying to beat the game by themselves and we making it hard for ourselves, bro. Look, we gotta stick together, fellas. When we get in these groups and we get in these packs, we got to start asking ourselves, hey, man, I know we doing something else. I know we doing that shit. But, bro, what could a nigga do to nigga like, I know something cheap. I know we could buy something for the low. You got to start thinking like that. I know it's something out here costs $50,000. It's 50 of us. My nigga, when we go out, when we be going out, it be 50 niggas when we go out, bro. That's 50,000. We be blowing. Look, think about this. We go out and we blow 50,000 a night. When we go out, we go. Listen, we go out. 50 niggas go out. If you having a good night, you out of a thousand. We talking about one of the Vegas nights. You feel me? You out of a thousand. You going to gamble three, four hundred on God. You going to spend at least five hundred on the room. 
And nigga, the other nigga, honey, gonna be on, the other rest gonna be on food and drinks. This is a typical Vegas night. You gonna spend 500, you gonna spend 500 on the top rooms, on God. You gonna spend 500. Man, fuck that, it's a $2,000 night. Cause you gonna spend 500 on the rooms, you gonna spend three, 400 at the crap table, and you gonna lose. Then you gonna hit the club to try to make yourself feel better, so you gonna get a table. That's a thousand plus about man. You out of three thousand. Look, if niggas really was like, yo, let's get together and put our money into one pot. Yo, we could really buy something. $50,000, $60,000 is a, bro, nigga could really buy something, bro. We could really buy something. Now, let me make this shit even different. We got to we gotta separate this female and male gap, right? I'm really getting tired of the female and male gap. Oh, damn, Instagram. Yo, everybody tune back in because Instagram about to cut my shit off, so I'm going to start this shit over. Tune back in.